Well, hello and welcome. And once more, we're looking at parts of my Goliath in its uh, ground dug condition. And this is a very exciting rectangular lump of steel. So let's move these bits of paper and have a look. This is not a mechanical part. This is a piece of the armor plating of the vehicle. Armor on it should be, according to record, 10 millimeters. You can see this armor plate here. Why does this vehicle need to be armored? It's a light load carrier. Well, quite simply, it has to protect the workings inside. Without any armor at all, a stray bullet, or a, I guess a deliberately directed bullet, would penetrate the body and disrupt the machinery. This is even more important if you're trying to carry ammunition in stores, or if maybe it's full of explosives and you're trying to direct it towards your enemy and blow it up. If it doesn't get there, it's not much use. So, what do we have here? Let's have a quick look. We have a sheet of steel plate. I know it's bent by the explosion. 39, so 390 millimeters in that direction. And 250 millimeters in this direction. We have a very obvious crack along here. So 90. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? As it stands, it's a good example of a piece of German armor plate of World War II. It's certainly got a bit of weight to it. We have our weld marks, we have a bend, we have a split. Can we bend that back flat? We're still gonna end up with the dimples. We risk the crack spreading. We risk some further damage to the plate. Is it any use as an artifact at the moment for the rebuilding? And exactly which part is it? Well, just at first glance, I'm looking at basically this part, this front plate here. I'll have to check the measurements later, but at first glance, this towing eye or lifting eye matches up nicely with this weld. In fact, I can see the top of the weld part here, which would just suggest that lifting eye is about 62 millimeters, maybe 60 millimeters long. And these little welded portions at the end here would appear to match up with our remains or lack thereof of welds. It's obviously very difficult. We're, do we're doing some tank archeology, span I guess. So. Let me know what you think. Maybe I can incorporate this or maybe it's just best left as a historical artifact. I'm certainly not going to be taking this out and shooting holes in it. In its current condition, it would tell us uh, probably absolutely nothing about German armor of World War II anyway. But there we go. So not quite maybe 10 millimeters, but we can't be definitive because it's in such poor condition. But certainly not more than that. I think we had nine millimeters at most. I already know it's off um, a Goliath, so we know what it's from. We've roughly identified where it's going to be from. Now we just have to decide what we're going to do with it, or if we're just going to use this as a template to cut new sections. Thank you very much.